Let's begin by starting Avanti. If we are doing just a single encode, we can choose the input file here. Here you can choose the output destination. Then we can click on this button to select a ready-made preset for our output. We don't need audio for this file so let's just uncheck it. If we want to do a batch encode, we can open up the job control manager. Now we just right click to add a collection of files. We can specify a template to use for the encoding for each file here. If you don't specify anything, the current settings at the main screen will be used. We also need to specify the output path by right clicking. Now we simply hit the process jobs button. Avanti will ask for us to save the job file if we haven't done so yet. The overwrite message is just a warning and we can ignore it. Notice how it says, if, in the beginning. Avanti is now batch encoding all our files and we can go do something else. Here are the resulting files. Thanks for watching and see you next time on 1minutevideotutorials.com.